Hello everyone, this is Knowledge Jason and again welcome back to my YouTube channel Basic Speech Practice and Knowledge Listening. It's been a long time since I have uploaded my last video due to my exams and health problems. So let's start today's video by delivering a speech on a Japanese electronics company known as Panasonic Holding Corporation. Panasonic Holding Corporation is a Japanese multinational electronics company that is headquartered in Kadoma, Osaka in Japan. Panasonic was the Zen known as Matsushita Electric and was founded in 1918 by Konosuke Matsushita as a vendor of duplex lamp sockets. In the 1920s, Matsushita began regularly launching its products. In 1927, the company produced a line of bicycle lamps that were the first to be marketed with the national brand name. During the World War II, the company operated factories in Japan and other parts of Asia, which produced electrical components and appliances such as light fixtures, motors, electric irons, wireless equipments, and its first vacuum tubes. After the war, the Matsushita Group, largely having been split into MEI and MEW by the dissolution imposed by the occupation, occupation force, imperfectly regrouped as Kiritsu or a group of companies in the Japanese language and began to supply the post-war uh, boom in Japan with radios and appliances as well as bicycles. Matsushita's brother-in-law, Toshio Ayue, found Sanyo as a subcontractor for computers after, after the World War II. Sanyo grew to become a competitor to Matsushita but was later acquired by Panasonic in December 2009. In 1961, Matsushita traveled to the United States of America and met American dealers. The company began producing te television sets for the U.S. market under the Panasonic branding and expanded the use of the brand to Europe in 1979. Its plant in 1963 produced 8 TV sets per minute, accounting for 21.8% of Japan's production of cathode ray tube television sets at the time, the largest share out of any company. The company used the national brand outside North America from the 1950s to the, to the 1970s. The inability to use the national br brand name led to the creation of the Panasonic brand in the United States of America. Over the next several decades, Matsushita released additional products including black and white televisions in, in 1952, electrical blenders and, fr and fridges in 1953, rice cookers in uh, 90 1959, and color, color televisions and microwave ovens in 1966. The company debuted a high fidelity audio speaker in Japan in, in 1965 with the brand name Technics. This line of high-quality stereo components became a worldwide favorite, the most famous products being its turntables, such as the SL1200 record player, known for its high performance, precision, and, dur and durability. Throughout the 1970s and the early 1980s, Matsushita continued, in, continued its, uh, produce, to produce high-quality specialized electronics for niche markets such as shortwave radios and developed its uh, successive line of stereo receivers, CD players and other components. In 1968, Matsushita began to make rotary compressors for air conditioners and in 1971, it began to make absorption chillers also for air, condi or for air, condi for air conditioning applications. In 1972, Matsushita established the first overseas factory in Malaysia. In 1973, Matsushita established the Anam National, which is a joint venture with the Anam Group in the South Korea. In 1983, Matsushita launched the Panasonic Senior Partner, the first fully IBM PC-compatible Japanese-made computer. In 1984, or a year later, Panasonic released the Panasonic Executive Partner, the first affordable uh, portable computer with a plasma display. 
Around this time, the company also introduced inverter air, air conditioners. In 1984, Matsushita established the Panasoft software label which published software for MSX computers from 1984 to 1989. The company also introduced MSX computers of their own such as the Panasonic FSA1. In November 1990, Matsushita agreed to acquire an American media company called the MCA Inc or incorporated which is the the, the 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 predecessor of both the universal music group and the U universal pictures for 6.59 billion us dollars the acquisition was preceded by a takeover of columbia pictures by sony which is the arch rival of matsushita at that time matsushita had dominated the home video market with the company's leading position in the electronics market in, inspired by the Sony's bold quest for Hollywood, Matsushita believed it, that it could become a leader in the film industry as well. However, Matsushita subsequently ho sold 80% of MCA to Seagram Company for 7 billion US dollars in April 1995, demoralized by the high volatility of the film industry. In 1992, Matsushita made the Panasonic FS-A1GT, which is the last model of the MSX Turbo R computer. In 1998, Matsushita sold Anam National to Anam Electronics. On May 2, 2002, Panasonic Canada marked its 35th anniversary in that, in that country by giving 5 million US dollars to help build a music city on Toronto's waterfront. In 2005, Matsushita Toshiba Picture Display Corporation Limited stopped production of CRTs at its factory in Horsehead, New York. A year later, in 2006, it stopped production at its, at its Malaysian factory following heavy losses. In 2007, it bought the venture from Toshiba, eventually ending all production. On January 19, 2006, Matsushita announced that it would stop producing analog televisions from the next month to concentrate on digital televisions. In 2008, all models of electric shavers from the Panasonic factory were called Panasonic shavers and they dropped Matsushita and National from their name. In late 2006, Matsushita began talks with Kenwood Corporation to sell and spun off JVC. As of October 1st, 2008, JVC and Kenwood merged to create the JVC Kenwood Corporation. On November 3rd, 2008, Panasonic and Sanyo announced that they were holding merger talks, uh, merger talks which uh, eventually resulted in the acquisition of Sanyo by Panasonic. The merger was completed in December 2009, as said earlier, and resulted in a corporation with revenues of over 11.2 trillion Japanese yen, or around 110 billion US dollars. In April 2011, it was announced that the company would cut its workforce by 40,000 by the end of the fiscal 2012, by the end, sorry, in a bid to streamline overlapping operations. The curtailment is about 10% of its group workforce. In October 2011, Panasonic announced that it was going to trim its money-losing money TV business by seizing produ production of plasma TVs at its plant in, Ama in Amagasaki, Hyogo Prefecture by March 2012, cutting 10 sorry, cutting 1,000 jobs in the process. Also, it sold some of Sanyo's home app home appliances uh, business to Hire, which is a Chinese home appliance and consumer electronics company. In January 2012. Panasonic announced that it had struck a deal with MySpace on its new venture 
called the MySpace TV. MySpace TV will allow users to watch live televisions while chatting with other users on a laptop, tablet or the television itself. With the partnership, MySpace TV will be integrated into uh, Panasonic Viera televisions. On May 11, 2012, Panasonic announced plans to acquire a 76.2% stake in Fire Pro Systems, which is an Indian company in infrastructure, production, and security solutions such as uh, fire alarm, fire suppression, video surveillance, and building management. On May 18, 2013, Panasonic announced that it would invest 40 million US dollars in a building, a, sorry, in building a factory in Ben Duong in Vietnam, which was completed in 2014. In July 2013, Panasonic agreed to acquire a 13% stake in the Slovenian household appliance manufacturer called Gorench for around 10 million euros or um, or 10 million 579,500 US dollars. In the same month, Panasonic signed an agreement with Sony Corporation to develop an archival disk described as an optical disk format for long-term data archival purposes. In a press release following the announcement at IF at uh, IFA or the International Fiscal Association, Panasonic announced that it had acquired the camera management, sorry, the camera manager video surveillance service with the intention of expanding its reach to cloud-based solutions. In 2014, the Panasonic Healthcare was bought by the KKR or Kohlberg Kravis Robots, an American global investment company. In July 2000, um, in sorry, in July 2014, it was announced that Panasonic had reached a basic agreement with Tesla Motors to participate in the Gigafactory, the battery, the battery plant uh, that the American electric vehicle manufacturer plans to build in the U.S. In August 2014, Tesla said the plant would be built in the Southwest or the Western United States by 2020. The $5 billion plant would employ 6,500 people and reduce Tesla's battery cost by 30%. The company said that it was looking at potential sites in Nevada, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, and California. In October 2014, Panasonic announced its initial investment in Tesla Motors battery factory uh, would amount to tens of billions of yen according to the firm's CEO. In November 2014, Panasonic announced its partnership with Photon Interactive to create customized and personalized digital signs in stores. In January 2015, Panasonic announced that it had stopped making TVs in China and planned to liquidate its joint venture in Shandong. In March 2015, Panasonic announced plans to buy a U.S. satellite communication service provider, ITC Global. In April 2015, Panasonic announced its new range of products and relaunched its brand in South Africa. The company intends to use South, Afri South Africa as a springboard into Africa with Nigeria and Egypt as its initial targets. In June 2015, Panasonic reached agreements with three Australian energy utilities. They are the Red Energy, Ergon Energy, and Active AGL to trial its home-based battery storage options. In February 2016, Panasonic and the city of Denver formed a formal partnership to make Denver the smartest city in the United States of America. Joseph F. Joseph M. Taylor who was the who is the chairman and the CEO of Panasonic Corporation of America laid out the plans for the partnership in four key areas: smart housing and small offices, energy and and utilities. 
Due to increased competition from China, Panasonic Lee Iron automotive market share decreased from 47% in 2014 to 34% in 2015. In June 2016, Tesla announced that Panasonic would be the ex would be the exclusive supplier of batteries for its mass market vehicle called the Tesla Model 3. Batteries for the higher end Model S sedan and the Model X SUV will also be supplied by Panasonic. In the early 2016, the Panasonic president Kazuhiro Suga confirmed a planned total investment of about 1.6 billion US dollars by the company to construct Gigafactory to full capacity. However, after the number of Model 3 reservations became known in April, Panasonic moved production plans forward and announced a bond sale for 3.86 billion US dollars, most of it to be invested in the Gigafactory. In 2016, Panasonic debuted a transparent TV. In July 2016, Panasonic unveiled its interest in making acquisitions in the artificial intelligence and machine learning space. According to a source, the company has put aside 10 million US dollars for use in either an acquisition or joint venture. On uh, in August 2018, the company announced to avoid potential task issues. Panasonic would move its European headquarters from the UK to Amsterdam in October as Brexit approaches. In 2019, Panasonic sold its semiconductors and security system businesses. The company also decided to completely exit from the liquid crystal display panel business by, 20, by 2021, marking the end of its display production to focus its resources on the automotive and industrial businesses. Panasonic's LCD plant in Himeji, Hyogo will be overhauled to manufacture automotive batteries. In 2020, Panasonic exited the vending machine business as it failed to achieve profitability lagging behind rivals rivals such as Fuji Electric, Sandin, and Glory. Meanwhile, Panasonic has made an investment to take a 20% stake in Blue Yonder, the supply chain man management software company previously known as the JDS Software deepening the integration of the former industrial connected technology and the latest products that has been underway since a year, since a year ago. On November 19, 2020, Panasonic announced a restructuring set to be completed by 2020 in which the company spins off the domain companies as wholly owned subsidiaries while transferring, uh, transforming itself into the holding company named Panasonic Holding Corporation. Panasonic's plan, plans are similar to that of its competitor, Sony did on April 1st, 2021, when Sony Corporation became Sony Group Corporation. In January 2021, the company announced that it would end its solar panel production. In March 2021, it was reported that Panasonic will buy Blue Yonder for 6.45 billion US dollars after buying a 20% stake in Blue Yonder for 86 billion yen in 2020. This deal is considered one of the biggest since 2011. In June, to in June 2021, it was reported that Panasonic sold its entire stake in Tesla for 3.6 billion US dollars. In August 2022, it was reported that the company, which is a supplier to Tesla, was in discussions to build a new electric vehicle battery plant in the United States with Oklahoma named as a leading contender. This would be on top of the plant planned for Kansas. Each would have similar capacity. In the first half of 2022, in the first half of 2022, Panasonic is ranked fourth in the world with a market share of 10% according to SNE research. Construction of the battery plant in Kansas began in November 2022. The present revenue of uh, of of Panasonic holding uh, holding company is 
7.388 trillion uh, Japanese yen as of as of 2022. The um, the total number of employees pres presently in pa in Panasonic is just about 300,000 as of 2023. These were the informations I plan to talk about in today's informative speech about Panasonic Holding Corporation. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If there was any problem in today's informative speech, uh, I, I apologize for that and let me know and let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you like my speech, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and remember to turn on the bell icon to receive my latest speeches. Once again, thank you so much all of you for watching.